Hi, I'm Ian Stewart. I'm on a train on my way to North Yorkshire, Harrogate for the 2012 British Bridal Awards. There are many awards given out this evening. Um, one in particular is a very important award. It's the Student Designer of the Year Award, one of which our company sponsors. A few months ago, hundreds of colleges um, around the country submitted application forms as we set the students a brief to design a wedding dress based on the following three eras in time the 1920s, the 1970s and the 1950s. It's going to be very interesting when I get there to see how these sketches have been translated into actual garments. I've got my eyes on one or two in particular and I really hope that they have um, translated into a, into a good three-dimensional dress. I'm going to be meeting Susie Rogel as soon as I get there and then we'll be judging the awards from there on. I'm here at the Harrogate International Bridal Centre. Um, we're in the Students' Award Gallery where I will be judging the finalists for the Student Bridal Award together with Susie Rogel. As you can see, the dresses have been put on a display. We're going to be judging them for construction, fit, embellishment and overall appearance until we finally select the winning gown. Six dresses in total will be going on stage and from those six one of them will be actually um, crowned as the winner of the student award. So this student's name... I, I do like the idea that she has actually staged to the design that she has yeah, presented. Yeah. And it does look like, you know, it does look like a sketch. How has so, that been achieved, that, that shading? I would say this particular shading has been done by hand. I yeah. think they've dip dyed it yeah. and it's gradually um, soaked up the dye yeah. and that's probably how they've achieved this effect and they've very cleverly mixed it with cream and black yeah. Yeah. seed pearls yeah. which kind of graduate out. I think, it, I think it's so very it pretty. So a lot of originality. Yes, definitely, definitely. It's quite nice. I mean, they've incorporated suede. Yeah, they've incorporated and, and, and suede machine too, with some beautiful machine embroidery which has like bows and doves on it and it's very, very pretty. Do you think it's vaguely work? Do you think wearable matters when one's talking about students? I think to a degree it kind of does because they have to prepare themselves for what they're going to be doing in their future careers. So I think, I think wearability does come into it. My reaction when I saw this sketch was, here's a student who actually understands construction because you can tell in the sketches if they know if they know how it's going to be made and the way that the way it was drawn with the seaming detail this student understands that in order to get that nipped in flared out shape you have to have the severe seaming here in order to give that peplum shape so i thought way back in december when we were judging the entries that um this was one particular student who, who, who did have a sense of construction and a sense of pattern cutting and fit. Yeah. So I think definitely this dress has to be on stage. It has yeah. to be one of our final yeah. six. Yeah. Now, she interesting enough, she also um, has actually made her outfit into two pieces. And it's very, very beautiful because it's a beautiful sequined bustier with an actual overskirt that has a sleeve attached to it. So again, this student thought about wearability and getting two looks out of one outfit. Lots of flowing peach chiffon. It's absolutely beautiful. It's very camp, very feminine, very flowing. And what you can't see here is there's a pair of shorts to go underneath it. But of course we couldn't with the mannequin put the there's, shorts yeah, on. Yeah, there's actually design. hot pants there's underneath hot pants. the outfit. Um, it's beautifully, beautifully. What do you think of the colour? Because I mean, that's. Not I love the colour. I love the colour. I think it's quite a strong peach. I would have personally chosen a slightly, um, a few shades lighter. But I think for the show and for the runway, it's going to look amazing. It's a very beautiful Y-shaped line coming from the back of the dress. Um, I really think they've coped with the feathers very well. It depicts the 1920s without it looking like a vintage 20s dress. 
So this student has answered the brief and taken it one step further. Don't you see? I mean, that to me looks very Oscars red carpet as very, well. You can see Oscars. a star. And this is what we're trying to do here. I mean, these students are going to be the Marquesas and the D Badgley Mishkas and Dior's of the future. So this is what we're trying to do here to encourage that kind of talent and encourage that kind of thinking. I hope you're a sponsor for many years to come. Thank you very I hope, much. I hope you're the mentor for students. Well, it was a pleasure doing, as always, it was a pleasure doing the judging with you. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, and have a wonderful absolutely. evening tonight. Thank you very Thank much. You. I will. Hi, hi. Um, yeah, we are very fortunate and lucky. We've been nominated for Best British Bridal Wear Designer and also Best Occasion Wear and Mother of the Bride, which is a, a, a real honour. Um, we've won the Designer of the Year numerous occasions, so it's kind of weird but very fantastic to be nominated for it again. And the Occasion Wear category we've never been nominated for before, which is um, particularly um, special. Very special. Yeah, definitely. And tell me a bit about the Student Award you do. The Student Award we've been doing for the last six years, um, it's, it's celebrating creativity and excellence um, with students, and we set them a brief every year, which is to design a wedding dress. Um, I was up here earlier today, and we were um, looking through the final gowns, the final outfits. We've now shortlisted a final six, um, of which um, one of them will become the winner. All six are going to appear on the runway tonight on stage. One of them is the winner. We already know who the winner is. It's very, very exciting. Very exciting. And we're just looking forward to a wonderful evening. So. Well, I wish you all the best and good luck in your, uh, with the awards. Thank you very much. Thank you. Fingers crossed. Absolutely. Cross everything. I'm here with Maxine from Ragdoll in Pudsey, who is one of Ian Stewart's stockists, and I'm going to ask a few questions about what it is you like about the Ian Stewart collection. Okay. Well, the label is just amazing. Um, obviously, we are a major stockist of Ian Stewart. We have lots of other labels, which obviously we do very, very well with, but Ian Stewart is an absolute pleasure to sell. The shape um, that it gives a lady um, gives her back her youthful figure, it gives a lady who hasn't got a waist a waist, it gives a lady who hasn't a bust, like myself, a bust, and a, a, a slimline hip line. Um, the shaping, his couture, the styling, not being, not having to wear a bra, um, the undergarments, a is oh, amazing, so many women. Um, I had a lady only last week in a size 22 garment, um, and this lady is not wearing the bra at her daughter's wedding. And I think she's I more think excited about that than <laughs> it is. Particularly if somebody in a size 22. Exactly. And they still feel they have the They do. The, co the corsetry is second to none. Um, as I say, the body shape that they come out with at the end of it is just incredible. Um, the downside of it is that we have to wait for Ian Stewart to be the last to be tried on. Because once they've tried an Ian Stewart on, they don't want to try anything else on. What do you think it is that the girls just love about his dresses? Um, I would say that Ian Stewart is our premier collection and that's based on the fact that every girl that tries on an Ian Stewart dress just absolutely falls in love with it so she makes our job so much easier because the moment she puts on the dress and we fasten it up it's like oh my god how amazing That's fantastic Yeah, amazing, so easy but they're amazing dresses. Fabulous fabric, design's amazing, fits fantastic, just really, really top of his game. And the winner is... Ian Stewart.
So, the winner is for the Student Design of the Year Award, Grant Jones. <laughs>